Hello viewer, welcome back to 54A. I watched uh, my mate Bram the other day, his latest video, and he made a box with one of these Procraft hinges. Very nice little things actually. I'll just put... Okay, now, my mate Bram made a box with this size. I think it's 85mm. Uh, there. and uh, I've also got some of the smaller ones about 50mm they are because I haven't got any of these <laughs> so I'm going to make some uh, little boxes little box, little box. yes thank you um, <coughs> I'm going to make some of these little boxes little box, little box. yes thank you very much I've got some boxwood which comes in handy for making boxes. I've also got a piece already on the lathe on a glue chuck to uh, enable me to put a tenon on. Just getting it roughly to round because it's a bit oval this piece is. But I'll get off the glue chuck now, turn it round and get the tenon in the chuck. Right, turned it round, put another tenon on this end because I'm going to part it off now. That little bit's going to be the lid and that's going to be the box. So I'll part it off about there, something like that. Now I've just got to put, take enough off so that sits nicely on the little rim. So quite a bit to come off yet. Just a bit at a time, I could measure it but I can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, a bit more. I'll just keep doing that till I've got this to fit on. very very close now it's just about going on you have to be very very careful with it now just the lightest shaving to come off it and that's gone on a treat lovely jubbly to leave a, a little rim on to allow for the thickness of the metal but just needs a bit more off than that I 
I think that will do nicely. I'll just take this off, shape it a bit. Trying a square scraper. It's a little bit high, that is. Much better. That's given a much better finish. A couple more scrapes for that and it'll be done. Well, that bit will anyway. I've just turned the base round. I've got to get rid of this tenon now. Right, I've got me other little piece for the lid ready. So that's going to go in the chuck. Now the principle of the lid for these little boxes. Little box, little box. Excuse me a minute. I won't be along. The principle is exactly the same as the actual box part. I've got to make it so this fits on there nicely. Well, I'm just doming out the top a little bit with the round scraper. I don't want to be heavy to top, heavy top. And it looks better anyway. Right, I've got it turned round now and I'm just going to uh, put a final shape on it and get rid of this. So shape the top a little bit, maybe just dome it a little bit, I don't know yet. We'll see what the tool does. I like that little bit of bark there, I might just leave that. Alright, that's the little lid done, complete with little imperfections, which I'm going to leave in because I don't know how deep they go, plus the fact it's a piece of wood. It's off a tree. You never get a perfect tree. So, uh, I like it like that. So now it's a question of assembly. Well, there it is, just super glued on. I think it's lovely. Don't know why I haven't done these before. Anyway, this is the first one. Oh, and it does shut. Nice little click to it. So there you go. First little box. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is, um, as I haven't got any, any of these uh, big ones, so <laughs> I'm going to use another little one and uh, do a different shape. Right, number two, 
just started rounding this off with my spindle roughing gouge. Beautifully, as long as your tools are nice and sharp, of course. But you get a lovely finish on it. Uh, this has been dried for a number of years, let's say, and it's in really good condition. nearly there. I'll get this finished off and um, put a 10 on the end and then probably just chop it in half. There's lovely. Still a bit of bark left but nearly there and I'm using my spindle gouge now but it is in fact a spindle. Same method as before, just got to get that so it fits nicely on the little rim, mark it out, hollow it out. This one's going to be quite a bit rounder than the previous box I hope, that's why I've left a bit of depth. We'll see how it goes anyway. Get some lovely ribbons off that. It's a beautiful wood to turn. Lovely. Same thing as before, pencil mark round. And you can hollow the inside out. Nice fit that. Right, drilled out with the force in a bit. I haven't gone too deep because this isn't a very deep box. I put a line where the bottom's going to be. I sort of want it quite rounded off, you see, like I'm not very good at freehand drawing. That kind of shape. A little bowl shape. Just the word I was looking for just put, put this on for reference yep that's what I've got to do so I'll give it a bit of shape first before I finish off the inside Yep, I think that's going to look nice. Got to be a bit smaller yet, but I'll carry on with that. Now I've got the basic shape of the outside. I'm just matching the inside, because it does look better, rather than having a square inside, if it follows the contours of the actual box itself. 
So a little round carbon cutter. I'm just working it gently, taking a bit off at a time to get the shape. Finally got the shape that I want now. Uh, polish the inside. I'll just pop that on to show you. That's basically what I want, exactly what I want. So all I've got to do now is polish up the outside, part it off, and make a top to match it. polish I'm using by the way as usual good old wood back 22 can't beat it well all I've got to do now is try and get that looking something like that I haven't got a lot to play with if it works it works Get away with that. Let me just check see how much we've got to take off. A couple of mil yet. Much more, and I'll shape it more around here. Very fine shaping just with the edge of the spindle gouge, just touching. And see how fine the shavings are that are coming off. 
Right, just to finish the shape of the top off, I've parted it off, turned it around, I've just got it in the jaws of the chuck. Um, there's not a lot holding it in and I wouldn't recommend you do it this way. But uh, I couldn't be bothered to make a jam chuck or anything like that, so I'm just going to go at it with the skew chisel very gently just to round that off. And there it is, my little box to go with this little box. Totally different design to what I wanted. Nice little click on these catches. Nice little finish on the inside. That's it. What do you reckon? I quite like it actually. Something different. I think any lady would be proud to have a, a little ring put in that maybe. Right, I'd have liked to have done a more of a clamshell design, but like I say, I haven't got any of these big ones. I've only got these little ones. <laughs> okay, that's it. Two little boxes for your enjoyment. Hope you've enjoyed it. So these kits, hinge kits, are from Procraft and uh, very good they are too. And another big thanks to my mate Bram. He did one of these larger ones the other day on a video and uh, I was really inspired because I hadn't been in the shed for a long time. So now I'm back with two little boxes. I'll see you soon for the next one. Take care now. Bye.